to the Lord, guys. It's time they get set free from that stinking, binding, constricting, constraining religious spirit. My God, the religious spirit says do, do, do. Jesus said did, did, did. You have been free from the spirit of bondage and you are now in liberty and freedom with Christ. Jesus broke the back of religion. Man trying to reach God. Man trying to earn God's approval. Man trying to earn God's acceptance and affirmation. We don't try and reach God. God reached us through Christ. We don't try and outdo what God's done with our morality. Now, obviously, the Lord wants us to have purity and walk in holiness, but it's by his grace, and he doesn't want us to institute or have that to outdo what he's done and establish our own righteousness. My God, we cannot add to the cross in this hour. I want to pray in two or three minutes the prayer of faith for you to be released from a religious spirit or a mindset. Before I continue, be an honor. If you're new, please subscribe. And also, I'm live Mondays, 9 p.m. Eastern New York. Thursdays, 8 p.m. Live Zoom, the ID 513. 3028285 now. Excuse me, today's the 29th of May. So this Monday coming up, I don't have the date, and Thursday following, we're going to have financial breakthrough. We're going to have financial breakthrough meetings. I want you to have a point to contact your checkbook, credit card, bank statement, mortgage. We're going to pray and breakthrough for kingdom finances. And it may be a little different, but come on the Zoom. Come on the Monday night live stream. Have your point of contact, checkbook, et cetera, something that contacts you to finances. The finances, we're going to break through now. If you need breakthrough from the religious spirit, you know, if someone comes on my comments, the comments and says, you've got to only worship the Lord on the Sabbath, which is Saturday. And they've got to prove to me and you that it's Saturday and not Sunday. They're under a religious spirit. Every day is the Sabbath. Every day is the day. In fact, they went to Jesus because he healed on the Sabbath. And he said, are you kidding me? Would you have one of you, if your oxen fell in a hole on the Sabbath, wouldn't you rescue it or some? you wouldn't do work? They were trying to say you worked on the Sabbath. You did. My God, guys, every day we're called to enter into his rest, the Sabbath. Now, there's something about the seventh day, putting it aside, seeking the Lord. We respect, we honor that. But let's stop making a religion. Out of nonsense, I can't say it anymore. And you've got to prove to me the Sabbath is on a certain day and not on a certain day. We got to stop this now. Listen, Galatians 5 1 stand fast, therefore, in the liberty, in the freedom, my God, by which Christ has made us free. You've been made free, you were made righteous, you were justified. Hallelujah! And do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage for those of us that came out of religion and we're now in relationship. Don't go back to bondage or the yoke of religion. Paul said you started out in the spirit. You're now trying to perfect yourself in the flesh. Hebrews 8 verse 6, but now we've attained the more excellent ministry that Jesus is also mediator of a better covenant, which was established on better promises. For if the law, the first covenant, had been faultless, then no place would have been sought for a second. The word obsolete is no longer of general use. It's faded away like Moses is the veil on Moses. The law faded away. In Hebrews 8.13 in that he says a new covenant, he has made the first obsolete. 
Now what is becoming obsolete and growing old is ready to vanish away. Hebrews 12, 24, to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. The new covenant, when Christ shed his blood, broke the back of religion. Man trying to reach God through works. God reached us through Christ and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better than things of Abel. The friends get set free from religion. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.